Let's take, for instance, this. Our creationist scientist, Nephilim Free, promoted more than once on the front page of Conservopedia and praised by Conservopedians. Whoa, hang on there, Thunderfoot. Far be it from me, a mere mortal, to challenge your highness. But Nephilim Free, a scientist? Are you kidding? Thunderfoot. Thunderfoot. <laughs> Absolute comic genius. He's saying that because we can observe the solar system from outer space with satellites and observations here on Earth, we can clearly see that the Earth is not the center of the universe. That's false. First off, let me state this. I am not completely convinced of the geocentric model. Hang on there, Neff. This is one mega change of direction. Okay, I can't be arsed to troll through your videos, and you may well have deleted it, but I distinctly remember this. I'm a geocentrist, which means the Earth is the center of the universe. Sounds crazy, but it's true. I am convinced the Milky Way is the center of the universe because astronomy has revealed that there are cosentric shells of galaxies at interval dis distances surrounding the Earth. Nah, they're not shells. Galaxies are in clusters and all sorts of various distances from the Earth. No matter where you are in an expanding universe, you'll experience the illusion of being the center when dealing with such distant objects. But there is no such illusion with close objects as in the solar system. That would not be so if the Earth was not the center of the universe. I mean, the uh, solar system. Hang on. What is it? The solar system or the Milky Way is the center of the universe? At least with the Earth at the center, you could claim your Book of Bronze Age myth supported it. But the Milky Way, the center of the universe? That is neither supported by science nor the Bible. We can verify these are there by moving the... Uh, Earth to the side mathematically, and when we do this, these concentric shells of the galaxies surrounding the Earth disappear. Uh, no, they won't. Ever heard of enormous distances and parallax? Judging by what you spurt, you've only heard of X-lax. What I'm convinced of is that the Milky Way is at the center of the universe, not necessarily the Earth. The universe is expanding, that is a fact. Ah, uh, so out of the blue, redshift is now okay. When God created it, he was already in an expanded state. Bible reference, please. Any reference, please. I believe that at that time, the earth was the center of the universe. Hate to break the news, but I believe is a billion light years away from the scientific methods. But I don't necessarily believe that the universe is expanding evenly and perfectly. Uh, what happened to your concentric shells? If it were not that would displace the Earth as being the center of the universe over time for the last several thousand years, do you see? So at the beginning, I believe the Earth was the center of the universe, but is not now because of the expansion of the universe. That is my current belief. Yeah, and you will continue to change like the wind as you are debunked each step along the way. Now let's debunk Thunderfood's crazy argument. He believes that because of satellites and observations from Earth that we can clearly see that the Earth is not the center of the universe. That is false. He is saying we can clearly see the Earth is not the center of the solar system and hence the universe. Pay attention, boy. Let's imagine that we grab hold of the Earth fastly and we hold it tight so that it will not spin. What would happen? Well, the entire orrery would evolve around the Earth. Uh, no, it would not work at all for Venus and Mercury and you would have crazy non-concentric orbits for the others. Try your little experiment, as if you know what that is, for Pluto and see what I mean. The relationship between the planets would remain exactly the same. They would be horrendously different and all NASA space probes would have been abject failures. It is not possible to tell that the Earth is not the center of the solar system by observations made from Earth telescopes or satellites. Forget the orbits in our solar system. We can observe thousands of solar systems both inside and outside the Milky Way that orbit their own sun. Give me one good reason why we are any different. Having suffered idiocy on astronomical matters, we now move on to geology and those moon craters formed by the Earth's floodwater. But that's in part two. See you there.